Well, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I am walking around in my neighborhood for a very specific reason. For one, I wanted to try out some of my vlogging materials that I have. I have my new Canon EOS R6. I guess it's not that new anymore. And then I'm using the switch pod to actually hold it out in front of me. It's kind of a heavy setup with the switch pod. I've also got a ball head that I put on the switch, hot, switch pod with my Canon R6 with the 24-105L to lens with the Rode Video Micro. It's a little heavy to hold out for any length of time, but I've never actually used this whole setup together, so I wanted to try to do that. And then also, as I grab a little container of raw, unsalted peanuts in the shell, I want to try to get some pictures of crows. I love crows. And several times on this channel, I have attempted to make videos of me getting pictures of wild animals, and it has not worked out. I tried to get some pictures of some sea otters and some video footage of sea otters. That did not happen. I tried to make a video where I was going to get pictures of eagles. That did not happen. So you never actually saw the video. I have a 105 millimeter lens on this camera right now, um, which is not super, super long. And so with the eagles, I actually found them, but I couldn't get any good pictures of them. I'm hoping that the crows will be a little less elusive and a little easier to get close to the camera lens. Um, I like crows. I don't know. I just think they're great. I think they're funny. I think they're smart. I think they're just, they're just amusing to watch and I love feeding them. Um, I do feed them peanuts on a fairly regular basis, but I haven't really done it too much near my neighborhood. I'm going to a park nearby to see if I can find any and I'm just going to be kind of scanning the treetops with my ears open, seeing if I can hear any <laughs> And uh, if I see some crows, I'm gonna try to feed some and I'm gonna try to get some pictures. I am also using auto ISO on this camera right now, which I've never really done, and I wanna see how that works. But we're shooting with uh, one over 50 shutter in F5.6 right now. So let's see if we can find some crows. just raining like a bastard and I'm hoping that that will hold off for the uh, remainder of this video. It is winter in the Pacific Northwest though so yeah you gotta put up with the rain. All right we're at the park. I'm not seeing any crows. four crows wheeling around. Oh my god, it's very muddy and very gooey in the park here. Ah, crows! <laughs> crows! Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, it is very wet. Ah, the crows keep wheeling and cawing and flying over this park, but I don't know if... Ah, there's one right there! This could be good. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get over there and then lure them down with my delicious, delicious nuts. Peanuts in the shell. Uh, there is a bench. I need somewhere where I can like sit because this is so gooey and wet. Crow? Crowby? <gasps> okay, there's one up over on a house across the street. Oh. <laughs> They're cawing everywhere. Okay, I'm going to put my camera down. Crows! I'm surrounded. Okay, hold on, hold on.
Okay, there are a bunch of crows in the trees around me. I've thrown all sorts of peanuts everywhere. They seem a little standoffish, so I'm going to try to back off a little bit and see if they come closer. This is so frustrating. They're all around in the trees, but they will not come down to eat the delicious peanuts. It's really interesting that how different groups of crows seem to be more or less afraid or standoffish. Like in certain neighborhoods, I can do this and they will come very close. They'll almost eat it out of my hands. And some of them are very standoffish. And you would think in a neighborhood like this, that's right near town, there are a lot of people around. You'd think they'd be used to people being around, but these ones are definitely a little more shy. So I think I'm gonna to try to back off even more. They've seen me. They know that I'm throwing peanuts on the ground. They're not stupid. So maybe if I back up a little bit more, they'll come down and then I can slowly kind of inch forward and get some pictures. I just don't think my 105 millimeter focal length is going to do it for me. Um, if they won't even come, I mean, I'm several, I don't know, 30 yards away from where I've been throwing the peanuts and they still won't come down. So we'll see. I just saw some other crows across the street and it seems like maybe they are a little more interested. They're up in this tree. Hold on. <laughs> it's too far away to even see. But let's see if they like peanuts. Aha! Success. Great success. I can even go a little wider here. Come on, guys. See how close they'll get. <laughs> Got one who's trying to get three in his beak at one time. There you go. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, daring. All right, I'm quite pleased by this so far. I'm gonna to try to get some actual pictures now. I've gotten a little bit of video footage. We'll see if I can lure a few more in here. The ones uh, who have been getting the nuts that I've just been throwing down are just gorging themselves, so I'm not sure how many more they're gonna to to eat, uh, but we'll see. I'd like to get some good pictures. Well, I'd say that was pretty successful. We actually have some evil seagulls who have come in now. I don't mind seagulls, but the crows don't seem to like them too much, so the crows are sort of keeping their distance a little bit more. But I think I got some good pictures. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Seagulls.
Come on, buddy. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. <laughs> the crows are still a crowin'. Um, again, they never really got super comfortable with me being here. You saw, I think the closest they ever came to me was maybe 10, 15 feet, something like that. Um, but I'm gonna just slowly back away and let them eat the rest of the peanuts that are strewn around here. But yeah, I went through almost an entire Tupperware container of these things. Uh, don't worry. Apparently raw peanuts are perfectly fine for them. I mean, crows eat garbage all the time anyway, so uh, a nice raw, unroasted, unsalted peanut is totally fine. So I'm just gonna back away slowly and see if these crows want to come and eat the rest. There aren't a ton hanging around here. I'm kind of surprised. Usually when I feed the crows in other places where I've done it, you'll end up with, you know, sometimes 20, 30 crows all in a giant murder together. These ones were a little more standoffish. Oh, there they go. They didn't trust me. I don't know if it was focusing on them then because I had switched it from animal eye focus back to human. I accidentally, when I was first starting to take pictures, had it on human eye focus and I was wondering why it wasn't picking up the crows, but it actually works really well on the Canon EOS R6, putting it in animal eye focus. Even with crows who have a black eye against black feathers, it still manages to pick out their eye quite a bit. So, I'm happy. I think I got some good pictures. I'm gonna go home and see what I got, and I will show some of them to you right now. You tell me, were there any good ones? Let me know in the comments below. I obviously need a longer lens if I really want to do bird photography. I'm hoping to eventually get, ah, the crows, they're attacking. I'm hoping to eventually get the cheaper, either the 600 or the 800 RF lens that Canon makes. They're F11 lenses, but they are insanely cheap compared to other long focal length lenses like that that you could get. And then hopefully I'll be able to get some really good bird pictures. Sorry, I'm just, wading through mud here right now but yeah i would i would call that a successful outing with the equipment that i have so hopefully you you enjoyed that uh, maybe more crow bird pictures in the future or trying to get bird pictures maybe some eagles things like that i'd still want to try to get those sea otters there's also river otters around here more wildlife hopefully in the future if i get a longer lens but until next time until we meet again i've been a good friend bradley you in the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.